What is good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to install some front seat covers. I don't know about you, but I am tired of looking at this fish scaly looking uh, seat covers, especially on my seat. I mean, look at that. What the heck happened here? It just looks all scabbed up and today we're going to do something about it. Alrighty, so this is the package right here. So this is just the front two, the front driver and passenger. I picked up these um, seat cover replacements from lseats.com. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, unboxing. I haven't been opened up as you can see, but so far, I like how they package the seat covers right here. Looks pretty good. Let's unpack this and let's see what's inside. All right, so let's take a little look at the seat covers actually. Oh my goodness, everything looks so good. So I got the ivory leather with ivory stitching. Hoping that it would match the stock seat covers. Let's see how well do they match actually. So we're gonna take them up. All right, so putting them right next to each other. It's pretty close. I mean, you can definitely tell the L seats is a little bit darker. But yeah, I only opt out to do the front um, driver and passenger because these seats are in definitely in terrible condition. But the rears is still pretty decent. So, and also tackling the rears is kind of a pain. The front two, super easy. You, you'll see. But let's get on with the install. We're going to take a look at some of the tools that we're going to use. Now this is pretty much the hog ring pliers and a couple hog rings. This will attach the seat cover onto the seat. And then I did buy these um, tag gun to attach the um, OEM seat warmers. And then also you're going to need some diagonal pliers to pretty much uh, cut the OEM hog rings to remove the seat covers and then I don't know if you guys watched my last video but I told you this is coming up you're gonna need this um, trim removal kit but now that we got the tools down let's go ahead and start removing the stock seats all right so to get started with the install you're gonna have to pop four of these caps so there's gonna be one right here another one on the other side and then two of them in the back you come out just like that Boom. Got two out. And then there's gonna be two um, bolts in the front right here as well as on the back. So go ahead and grab a 14 millimeter socket, I believe, and then go ahead and unscrew these. Got two off. And then pretty much do the same thing on the back side, and then we're good to go on this. So to reach the back side, you're going to have to um, move the seat up a little bit. All right. So there's going to be two other caps right there as well that you're going to pop off. And just like that, you now have it unbolted. Now, we're going to now go back to the front side. And then we're going to tilt the seat backwards. And you're going to have to disconnect the harnesses under it. So there's going to be three plugs that you're going to have to take off. And they're pretty much in the front right section on the passenger side. All right. Once you get the harnesses unplugged and unclipped from the bottom of the seat, now you're ready to pull it off. All right. So the first step is I'm going to go ahead and flip it on its back. And then pretty much we're going to start on the, the bottom side of this. So we're going to do the easiest parts, easiest parts first. We'll pull this down, pull this down, and then we're going to unplug this. And then we're also going to unplug this harness up here as well. So this is for the seat warmer right here. So we're going to pull that out. So after we pull that out, we're going to go ahead and undo this clip right here. So that's, un that's loose. And then um, we're also going to undo these J hooks right here. So now that's off. Now we can go ahead and flip this back and then we're going to rotate it. Before we put it back on its feet, we're going to go ahead and take off these two screws right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick it back up. We're going to sit up right. So if you take off the flap right here, 
um, there's gonna be two screws right here. One, two. So go ahead and remove those. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna pop off these suckers off. So you can use your trim removal tool and they just pop right out. Boom. Make sure you get it right in the center so it pops right out. Once you take it out, you can see there's two more screws right here. Go ahead and take those out. Once those last two screws are out, this should pretty much pop right out. And this back side right here, for this section right here, you have to push up. Push up and it'll pop right out. All right, so now on this side, we're gonna go ahead and remove the seat belt. So go ahead and grab your 14 millimeter socket and it comes right off. Make sure you put the bolt back in so you don't lose it. And then same thing with this capper, you're just gonna push upwards and it's, it comes right off, just like that. Now we got that piece off, we're gonna go ahead and work on the armrest now. This cover pretty much, this cover just pops right out so you just wedge the trim removal tool and you just pop it out and it's just a cap. And then inside the cap, you're gonna see another um, bolt in there. And again, you're gonna use the 14 millimeter socket and then you're gonna take that off and your armrest should just pop right out. And then inside the armrest, there's this little like ring, this plastic ring that goes inside right here. So make sure you don't lose these. All right, since we're already working on the back, we're gonna go ahead and remove this back cover and if you pull this flap up and you look right under, there is two screws right here. It's gonna be like right here, right behind these. And you pretty much just take those out and then we can pop this right out. All right, so once you got those bolts off, or those two screws off, you can pretty much pop this right out. I actually don't even need the tool actually. You can just pull this out your hands and then slide it down from the top right here you can see there's two hog rings and we're gonna go ahead and get our diagonal pliers and cut them out or if you're just lucky like me I guess you just pull them out boom you're gonna wanna pop these uh, J hooks off right here on the sides. Might not even need the tools for this back side, to be honest, actually. It's much easier with your hands. And there's these two other small J hooks on the bottom right here too. You just pop right out. And then boom. This back section is pretty much good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, the headrest. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and um, turn it around again. And we're gonna start taking off the bottom seat covers. All right, to start with the bottom seat covers, you're gonna have to use a trim removal tool, and then there's two clips right here, or two buttons on each corner. So, one on this side, you just grab your tool and then just pop them right up. Got one down right here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then, we're gonna go ahead and flip this on its back again. First clips I'm gonna remove is these two ones on the side. So you can actually just use your hand and pop them right up. No problem. And then we're gonna do the ones along this section right here. So you could just start right in the middle, just grab your hands and then just dig in and then pull right up. All right, so now that we have the clips off, we can go ahead and grab it, tight it up. You, wanna, you don't wanna yank the whole thing out. We just wanna move the sides up because we're gonna have to cut all the, the hog rings so there's gonna be hog rings along all the seams right here. So I think there's like about three or four on this long side. And I think three in the middle seam and then another three on the other side, so. So this is the part that kind of sucks the most. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of strength. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna pull too hard because you might rip the rods that are in, um, embedded into the, the cushion. So you wanna just get enough space and then get a good angle. And then just cut the hog rings off one by one. 
All right, got that side off. Now I'm pretty much gonna do the rest of it. Get the middle seams and then the other side, and then I'll get back on the camera. Alrighty, so finally got all the hog rings off. Now we can go ahead and pull this bottom cover off. You can just take, go ahead and take off the cushion. Just give yourself a little bit more space. Forgot to take off the clips that are holding on the harness. Pull this cover out upwards, or you can actually pull it out too. You're gonna have to remove this clip right here. Boom, got that out. And then there's this taper here that you just yank right off. And then the covers should be free. All right, so we're not done yet. Go ahead and flip the covers on its backside. And now we're gonna have to remove um, the seat warmers pretty much from the cover. You can use diagonal pliers, I guess. They're just held on by these like uh, these little tags that they use for like shirt tags and stuff like that. Boom. Let's just go ahead and just cut them all off around the whole thing and remove the seat warmers. If you want right now, you should take a picture of how they, they uh, stitch everything. So when you guys go ahead and restitch your um, seat warmers on the new covers, then you know where to go. So to release the seat covers from this, I mean the seat warmers from the seat covers, you just take off this metal rod right here. And also we're gonna have to remove this anyways, because we're gonna reuse it on the, the new covers. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and start removing all the rods. There are three hog rings right here as well for, to start off with the bottom ones. All right, so before we start removing the covers, we're gonna have to remove this side out. So what you do is you get a pick, um, preferably with the one with the hook, but I can't find mine, so we're just gonna make it work with this. And you just grab one corner and then you just slip it over. Almost like you're taking a tire off a wheel. So you start on one side and then slowly fish it out. Boom. Let's see, I'm just gonna start off by slipping this bottom side that we uh, just unclipped with the three hog rings. And we're gonna fish it towards the front. And then once you got the, the bottom flap out, you can start just uh, slowly removing it. Boom. But you don't wanna yank it out because we're gonna have to take off the hog rings in the front as well, so. So after we got the covers off, now it's time to come to the back. You can go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter socket and you're gonna just slide this cushion over and then you're gonna see a bolt. And this is pretty much, I think this is like the airbag straps. Just take off these brackets and then put the bolt back on. And now once we got that done, now it's time to head Back to the front, it's just like the bottom, we're gonna have to remove the hog rings. So there's gonna be hog rings along this seam, this seam, this seam, this seam. So get your fingers working and yeah. I must pretty much take the rest of the hog rings out and then I'll be right back. Whew, man, my hands are sore. But after we got that out, same process. So we're gonna have to take the rods out and before we take the rods out, we're gonna pretty much uh, unstitch the seat warmer. Okay, now this is the very interesting part. So you're gonna have to actually reuse these. Um, if you know someone that can help you sew it, I think you're supposed to sew it on, but I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. But from OEM, looks like they just sewed it on. They did a, like a, a Z-shaped stitch. You could take these to like a upholstery shop and they can probably sew it up for you really quick. 
probably shouldn't, wouldn't even charge you that much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. Make sure you just match the same length of the two straps and you should be good to go. So now we're gonna have to grab the covers and we're gonna put them right next to each other and we're gonna have to do the cutouts for the rods and including like the splits too, because on the cover, they come with the full sleeve. So it doesn't have any of the cutouts. So we're pretty much gonna have to do the cutouts on our own. So make sure you match the exact same length because I think these are a little bit longer. So you're gonna have to do a couple cuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some on camera. This is what I would do. Pretty much just match the, the seams up. And voila. Alrighty, now that we got all the cutouts for the rods, now it's time to put everything back together. Go ahead and insert the rods. Actually, I missed a big step. Before we put the rods back, we have to put the the seat warmers back on. So. All right, so to attach the seat warmers, um, I'm gonna. I bought this pretty much this tag gun right here with this half inch tag, and I'm just gonna install them like how they were from factory. All right, pretty much you want to just grab your gun and then poke the needle through, and then um, I'm gonna go through the letter seam right here and just get that through as well, and then you just press the trigger and it'll send a tag through it. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and put the rods in or the rest of the rods in. All right, now that the rods are in, now we can go ahead and um, put the seat cover back on. But before we start, uh, make sure you have your, your brackets already uh, stitched on. Alrighty, so now that we got the rods in, now it's time to start putting the covers back on. We'll do the hog rings on the bottom of the middle seams first, then we'll work on the sides. So grab your pack of hog rings and hog ring pliers, and you're pretty much gonna, you guys never used it before, you just put the hog ring in right here into the plier, just like that. And then once you get it in, you just squeeze and it closes it up. We're gonna start on the bottom middle seam first. Push all the way to the back and squeeze. Boom. Got one. So you do the same thing on the top side and then get these in and then um, you can go ahead and wrap the, the airbag straps back on and we're pretty much good to go. So once you get it all fitted now we can kind of um, start clipping the rear side back together. We're just gonna match the cuts. Got another V-shape right here on this end. Cut a V-shape right here. That cut out. Now we can go ahead and stick the rod in. Now I'm gonna turn the rods, rotate it towards the back so it's not visible. So for the top, it's just two hog rings right here. And these ones are just J-hooks, so you just pretty much just hook them on to the side right here. We got the top section down. Now it's time to 
put the bottom section in, and then it's just three hog rings. So one, two, and three. Next step is to get pretty much, the, we gotta do the, the cutout for the headrest. So, for this, to create the cutout, locate the plastic piece right here, and then you're gonna cut a X where the hole's gonna be at. But you don't wanna cut it the exact same size of the, the box. You wanna make it a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna start with the, a simple incision where the hole's at, and you just wanna create an X. You pretty much want the, the lines that you cut to meet before the edge of the uh, plastic box. So you wanna just make it like slightly smaller, like maybe like two thirds of the side. Throw it out. And then once you get that cut out, so it should look like this. So once that, that's cut out, just like how we took it out, that's how we're gonna put it back in. So start on one corner. They are having a hard time. You can cut it a little bit bigger, but start small. Just, just enlarge it just by a little bit and see if that will help. Just like that, that went in, and then you just tuck the flaps right under it. Boom, nice and tucked, look at that. Whew. Just like from factory. Now we can do pretty much the same thing on the bottom side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting back on the seat warmers onto the, the bottom covers. Alright, so I got it all nice and stitched up. Boom. Like how it was from factory. Now it's time to get the rods back in. Alright, now the rods are back in. Let's go ahead and start um, putting it back on. So, want to stick the harness through this right here. Just like that. Make sure you get the second plug in too. So we got those through. And then now, I'm gonna lift the cushion up a little bit and I'm gonna fish the back side in first. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the hog rings. So I'm gonna start with the middle seam and then do the sides. And then we can start putting everything back together. so got them all in now it's time to wrap the rest of the covers on Look at that. all right now this is probably the, the hardest part of the installation we're gonna go ahead and flip this on its back again all right so now it's time to work on clipping the bottom so got the side flaps the bottom one and then you get the J-hook and you just slide it forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then it just clips into the side just like that. All right, so now that we got the two bottom sides put in, now we're gonna work on the hardest part of the seat cover installation. To make it a little bit easier, you wanna grab two or three clamps. I have two of them right here. I don't know where my third one's at. So we're gonna try to work with two, but I think I do see my third one right there. Hide it. But anyways, um, how this part goes in, you're just gonna rotate it all the way. And then this hook right here, this plastic J-hook clip, is gonna clip onto here. So we're gonna start with the middle ones first. 
and you're gonna wanna compress it a little bit. You're gonna wanna push this corner too as well. Try to get it all in. All right, so I got this corner in and I'm gonna use a clamp to uh, try to just hold it in place for now. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna work my way around cross. And you wanna go until you hear that, that click. That click. So I got another one in right here. Grab another clamp. This part takes a lot of finessing, so clamps help hold it together because if you don't have clamps, this thing can just pop off like right here. So the clamps definitely is a game changer. So just work your way around the corner and then stretch this end piece in and then it just clips right in just like that boom wow that went in gracefully i'm gonna clamp down this section for a little bit just so i can mold that plastic all right so now that we got the seats in now it's time to remove the headrest and the armrest but man look at this armrest that thing looks nasty but anyways, uh, to remove the headrest, it's just three different J-clips. So there's a J-clip right here, one in the center, and then on the side. So what I like to do is I like to start on the side. And you can just stick your, your trim tool in the middle right here, and then just pull this um, top clip, top layer upwards, and it should slide out like that. So you're going to have to do a little bit of finessing to pull this out. And then grab the loose part and just start. All right, so my memory card actually went full, but anyways, just slowly work your way out, and then once you get the loose piece, start just pulling it out slowly. Now it's time to put in the new covers. So you're going to want to grab the covers, and this long side right here is going to be the back. So this is the front, this is the back side. So um, usually at a hostery shop, they usually have this little vacuum right here. They put a bag over it and they compress it with the vacuum and then you just slip this in easily. But since they don't got that, we're gonna have to slowly finesse this. So just go little by little. So just start by putting it in. Let me just go one side and then go back to the other side. Slowly finesse it in. Too bad it's pretty easy but you just gotta finesse a little bit to attach these in you have three j hooks so two on each side and then one in the middle so you're gonna want to rotate this flip this upwards and then on this top piece you're gonna rotate it backwards and this section is gonna clip into the j hook so um, we're gonna start we're gonna just set all the j hooks set it upright Rotate it and then just push it in, push it in the J hook until you hear a click. You're gonna have to use a little bit of finger muscles on the middle one, but it should click in. Once you click, once it clicks in, you know it's good to go. But yeah, just like that. Bam. Don't worry too much about the wrinkles. Um, if you guys want to get rid of the wrinkles, you can always get a steamer and just steam this lightly, and then it will sm slowly smooth out these wrinkles or you can just leave it and let it bake in the sun i think eventually it would smooth itself out but if you want to speed up the process go ahead and just grab a steamer and just steam it bop, 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 and it's good to go all right anyways now on to the armrest there's going to be a j hook back here just want to unhook that also this is the velcro right here this might make it easier oh that does make it easier so open the velcro and then just stick your up trim tool inside and just pull out Bam. This should come out. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this thing off. Slide it out just like that. Wow, this is in much better condition than the driver's side. All right, so this thing goes back the same way. So just grab that sucker and you just shove it in there. So I'm gonna pull it all the way through. And then, same process, grab the J-hook, there is a clip right here, 
and then the Jake the clip on top just folds right in you should just clip in like that and you just put the velcro back together bam there we have it the armrest I could rotate Alrighty, so now we're gonna start putting everything back together. So I'm gonna set this back to this. I'm gonna start with the back. Just like that. We can add this bottom flap back in. So just pretty much just clips on right here. So the bottom rail. I think it tucks behind the, the seat cushion. Just like that. Next is this uh, back cover right here. So they're just all clips, so you just push them in and then you just screw them both in from the bottom. Before we do that, I think I'm going to clip these J-hooks right here on the side right here like that. Boom. And then this just slides in. And then just clip the top in first. Oh, you want to pop it up too. That's what I didn't do. You want to push, pop it in, and then make sure you pop it upwards so it covers everything nicely. Everything should line up. So we got the back side assembled. Now we can put it back on its back. So we're gonna put this, these J hooks in. So they just clip under these rails right here. You're not gonna use all of them. Just find whichever one lines up and then just get them in. And they should clip in just like that. Then we can go ahead and plug in the seat warmer harness. Boom. Don't forget this bottom one. So there's one right here and the connectors on this harness right here. Get that sucker in, pop in the clip, and then we can probably put this clip back in. So it can sit nice and flushed. We're gonna grab these, this flap, and we can put it right there. All right. All right, so now we can put this plastic trim back on. So. So on the bottom side right here, you're gonna wanna grab, go from the top and then you clip it downwards. So. So I'm gonna grab the two gold screws first and I'm gonna do the ones on the side right here first. So, got this bottom trim in. Now, it's time to put it up work. Put it on this back again. And we still got two screws in the back right here. Yeah, get the other cap in as well. So, they clip in from downwards so you have to go up press in and then push it down Bam. all right so the last step is we got to do a cutout on um, the armrest section for um, the armrest 
So let me show you what the shape looks like. So we're gonna have to do like a little circle with a triangle on top. Kind of looks like Jack in a Box, I don't know. But you pretty much have to do a circle and then a triangle right here. And I believe the triangle part, the tip of the top of the triangle, it's supposed to go around this little nipple right here on the side. And then you just draw a circle around. Um, if, you, if you feel it, you're gonna feel like a little square. And that's where your, your armrest would go in. So the easiest way is just, I'm just gonna cut an X around this, the box part, just to start. Yeah, grab that plastic ring and then put it, put the X right in the center and then you can just do a cutout like that. I think this will do. Now we can assemble this back together. Um, so there's a purple marking right here and you want to just match it with the purple marking on the seat. Before I do that, you want to grab that plastic ring and then put that inside. Go ahead and line it up. Put the bolt through and grab your 14 millimeter socket. And then just go ahead and grab your plastic cap. Whew, that looks amazing. All right. Let's see, we can go ahead and bolt the seat belt back on. The last thing that we gotta put on, we're gonna always have to crown the king. Boom. Or this could be the queen since it's the passenger. Or king, I don't know, it's 2023. But anyways, bam, just like that, it is done. Man. Yeah, like I said, don't mind the wrinkles because the wrinkles will come off if you get a steamer and it will smooth it right out. I don't know if I have a steamer here, but I will eventually go grab a steamer and smooth this out. But holy cow, this looks so good. Whew, man. I gotta say, the install is not that bad, but it is pretty dang tedious and that little clamp trick that I did right there that's gonna help you guys a lot I mean if you guys don't believe it try it without a clamp and see how well you guys can get it because I did that thing pretty fast I mean that was real time right there but anyways I am so happy with these seat covers man yeah don't don't even look at this I don't know what happened to that strap for this but we don't gotta worry about that, it's just the passenger seat. Anywho, but dang, the fitment on this is pretty decent. I mean, look at that. Everything looks pretty, pretty good. And for sure it's gonna sit a lot better than those factory ones that I have. I mean, I haven't changed the back yet, but I think I just might have to. Maybe in the future, but my back, my rear seats are in still pretty decent condition. But, all right, now it's time to, I'm gonna pretty much vacuum the carpet under the passenger seat, and then we can go ahead and bolt these back in and see how it looks inside the car. Let's get this sucker back in. Don't forget to plug in your harnesses. And send it with back then. Take a look at it. Woo! Let's go ahead and sit in it actually. Oh! Oh my god! It feels so much better. Now it actually has some grip before you would be sliding everywhere. But oh my god, it feels like a brand new car. Especially with this nav right here. Oh man, I love the way my interior looks. The only thing I hate about it right now is this wooden trim but 
we'll talk about that in another video but let's focus on the seats wow these covers feel really really good i'm very happy with it man but what do you guys think i don't know if you guys can tell but they match pretty decent i mean you can tell it's a little bit different i feel like it's a little bit darker and also like these are brand new and these seats are like old but I'm pretty sure they're still not the same color, so. But it's pretty dang close for me. I mean, I'm not complaining. And whoever's sitting in the front is definitely not gonna be complaining because, man, this feels so much better. Like, I don't slide anymore. Before I can like, you know, ice skate on my seats, but these feel amazing. But yeah, um, if your front seat covers are pretty much jacked up, I encourage you guys to go do the install because it's pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty tedious, but it's not too bad. With that clamp trick, that will save your fingers for sure. But I mean, your, sing your fingers are still gonna get wrecked. So it took me about like, I don't know, for like four hours per seat, I think. So one weekend, I think you guys can finish it. And I don't know, I don't think a lot of people realize that seat covers are like stuff that you use every day like the steering wheel stuff like that i mean those mods are gonna do you the most justice in my opinion like definitely i gotta change this nasty steering wheel one day but for sure the seat cover because that thing was feeling pretty nasty and whew, whatever it was under the seat was pretty nasty too there was a lot of sauce and dog hair and saw and all that nasty gunk under there so it gave me a chance to finally clean that side but anywho i'm gonna stop rambling here if this video helped you guys out please smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace